Hey guys, welcome back to another video. <laughs> we finally got some fish for that Nintendo tank, so stick around and I'll show you what we got. So a couple weeks ago, I decided to destroy a retro Nintendo system. At least it was only a Nintendo Mini, so it wasn't as expensive, but I flooded it. <laughs> I had a few responses to that video and I didn't take all the chipboards and everything out but I'll show you what I decided to do after some of your comments because I was a bit worried about it too, but I was trying to be hopeful that it wouldn't be an issue, but a lot of you have helped me out and I'll show you how I got rid of them. Before we jump into that, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because there's plenty of fish content on this channel and we're trying to do different tanks all the time, doing lots of things like fish room tours and just general fish keeping tips. Okay, so I decided to make a bit of a change. A couple of people were mentioning that there is actually a battery in here. So I didn't even think about the battery. I knew about like little bits of metal, but I've decided, pulled it out. I'm gonna take everything I can out of it and put it back together. And try and make it a bit more fish and shrimp safe. So let's see how I can do that. Okay, so it's just a little bit harder to reach, but now have the lid off this is what I'm going to pull out so I've got some more screws so there we go we're pretty much empty plastic uh, that is just really a connection there. These are just wires to connect to this, but they're pretty much covered up. So it's just plastic. There's that little bit of metal there. There's none now on the back. So that's as safe as we can really make the Nintendo. Probably put it, should put it on the right way. Well, now I've got to do the same to the, uh, the controller. All right, so behind me, you can see we've got some bags in the tank. So we're temperature acclimating at the moment. I upgraded the heater because I only had a 25 watt heater. So now I've got a 50 watt brand new heater in there, which is warming everything up as well at the moment. I did a big water change. I've put in some beneficial bacteria, uh, but now the canister filter doesn't want to pump. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Do you have issues with canister filters? Because Oh, they're so frustrating. All right, so while they're acclimating, let me just tell you what we chose. Uh, I've gone with some Neon Tetras. We've got about 20, so we'll have a really cool school through there. Why Neon Tetras? It's video games in the 80s. Neons, of course. Like, it's one of the best suggestions. Oh, I can't remember who suggested it. I'm going to have to edit over this to make sure I've got the person who put it into the comments last video because I really appreciate all your help in choosing the fish. Along with that, I decided to get, well, I was looking at some guppies and some of them were reminding me of Princess Peach with some of the colors, the koi guppies, a uh, koi neon guppies, sorry. They're really cool, but I don't think the tank's really set up properly for guppies, but it's pretty good for endless. So we got a couple tiger endless, which I've never kept before. They're gonna give us a bit of a variation on the colors. Lastly, hang around for another minute or two. We'll let these fish in, but I've found something else uh, that's been donated to the channel. So we'll pick up on that in a couple minutes, but there's something else that we're adding to this tank as well. Okay, time to get these guys in the tank. I've fixed the filter. Very simple issue. The filtration was in backwards, so it was blocking the flow. It worked the other way anyway. But, oh, I was gonna say, why can I only see one? There's two. And then I'm gonna do the neons at the same time. I've gotta be careful with the neons because I noticed a bit of hair algae in the bag and I don't want hair algae destroying another tank. All right, let's put them in the tank. All right, so you can see that flows a lot better. Still a little bit cloudy, but that's okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we just went and picked these up from about half an hour away. Uh, again, a friend of the channel, Dennis, thank you very much for giving me this. He's already given me some of the plants for this tank, so he's uh, pretty much owns half this tank. All right, let's open it up and see what we've got. What do you think's inside? <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Here's the bag. Oh, whoa. Very, very, very cool. Do you see that? You can't see that. Ha. <laughs> let's open this up. Oh, wrong side. We have red cherry shrimp which are going to be perfect in the Nintendo tank. There's some big females in there, some really good red colours. Probably colour up a little bit better once they're in a tank. They've been sitting out in your bag for a little bit, but let's, uh, let's temperature acclimate them. But thank you very much, Dennis. <laughs> All right, let's uh, float them in here. I think there's about 10 of them. Um, but Few different sizes but definitely got some females in there and yeah hopefully they'll breed as well So here we are five days later and you can see how much the tank has cleared up. All the fish, all the shrimp, they're all doing really good. Starting to get a little bit of algae, so maybe I need to turn the lights on a little less often. But I'm really happy with it. Now the last video on this tank, we didn't have any fish and I asked you guys for some advice on what we should stock it with. So I've got to shout out Kathy Doro. Thank you for the uh, Neon Tetra idea. Just on the tiger emblers, I think I'm going to get a few females and uh, we'll see if we can breed some tiger emblers in the Nintendo tank. Now when I got 20 Neon Tetras, I thought that's going to be perfect. Probably a little bit more than I should have got, but I do. I mean, I love the tank right now, but I still wanted to add some glow light Tetras and I might have some ember tetras that I want to rehome in there. So we'll see how things go and we'll add a bit more orange to that tank if I think it's going to work, but I'm really happy with it. So thank you very much for watching this sort of mini series. This is a tank I've been thinking about for a long time. Really, really fun to share it with you all. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we'll do some updates on this one and we're still going to stock that tank over there and it's looking awesome. But until then guys, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>